Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I mean I know you see it. This ruby red color you see is not hair dye. It is not permanent. It is not one of those little spray cans full of silicone. It's also not those waxes that you see all over Instagram. This is actually a gel. I know, right? I'm happy to introduce to you the Curlsmith Hair Makeup. It's a temporary hair color that will not stain your hair, will not stain your hands, is transfer proof, and it's a gel. It's a styling product that adds color. I've never heard of that before. If you are familiar with Curlsmith products, all of their products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, no phthalates, no DEA, no mineral oils. I'm talking good ingredients. And usually we have to sacrifice good ingredients to have like a fun little you know, color thing, and usually even hair dye is very damaging if you don't do it correctly. So that's why I've never branched out into like the really fun colors like red before, even though I've wanted to. But now for us chickens, we can get the color we want without having to commit or worry about damage. So Curl Smith has started off with five initial colors. Ruby, which is what I have in my hair right now. They also made a copper, turquoise, rose gold, and gold so whatever you're feeling you can switch out your color weekly if you wanted to because they rinse off in one wash so i thought this was a very bold move of curl smith to have a colored gel because not only does the color have to look good it also has to be a good styler we don't want pretty color on top of frizzy curls but as you can see this product can do both so in today's video i'm going to show you how easy it is to apply these products and how easy it is to wash out. Let's get started. So now I'm going to start off with a leave-in conditioner. It's not mandatory, but it's suggested. So I'm gonna grab the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream, which is a favorite leave-in of mine for someone that doesn't really use leave-ins. Just using a little bit to add that moisture underneath this gel cast. Really focusing on my ends that get most dry. Raking it through. Smoothing it down, one side done, a little bit more on the other side, get those ends, just like this stuff is called hair makeup, we are priming our hair like we do our face. So now I'm going to actually attempt to do my hair in sections, as you guys know I struggle with, so I'm gonna do half, and then just get a little, a little sliver. So I'm grabbing my Curlsmith hair makeup in the color Ruby. <gasps> Here we go, it says you don't need any gloves. It's transfer resistant. All right, let's just go for it. Ooh. All right, it's a very shimmery, thick consistency. That might be too much for this first little patch, but let's just try. Oh, snaps. Ooh, oh, snaps. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty. All right, I'm just gonna rake this through like I do a gel. But I guess the more you apply, the more it will show up. So it looks a little light right now and I wanna go a little extreme, so I'm just gonna glob it on there. Let's just try patting it. There we go, that's kind of how I want it to be. One side done, one side to go. Oh yeah, that's looking fire. So 
So I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit. It's already drying nicely. Then I'll come back to diffuse. And I'm back. It is drying pretty quickly. I think I wanna start diffusing so it doesn't dry too flat. So let's begin. Finished look. Oh, this looks so dope. Wow. I love it. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Um, I do notice that like my highlights are kind of like adding dimension because it's going on to a different color base. So that's kind of cool. I could add more. Should I add more color? How's it look? I can't see it can't tell hopefully it looks nice and even I'm obsessed oh, what a great idea my hair is still super soft like it has enough cast of a gel that I think we all are comfortable with but it's not like that super hard gross crunchy feeling that those spray on colors have and that I'm even assuming the wax ones would probably be really hard and they probably leave a weird residue and like wax is super thick and kind of hard to get out of your hair where this is sulfate paraben silicone free strawberry beet extract rubose and watermelon it kind of smells like watermelon so this says for a more intense pop add a little bit more product once the color dries so just to see how it looks let's just add a little bit more because why not Let's get this little, this little curl right here. So you're not so blonde. Ooh, that bounced back nicely. I thought I was gonna want like crazy, super duper red, but I'm kind of liking this ruby burgundy mixed in with my highlights. I think I'm done. Let's pick it out a little bit. This as a gel is impressive. Cause we have to remember, this isn't just a color. It's a styling product. So the gel could have sucked and the color could have been good or vice versa. But even as a styler, it's very impressive. So once again, here are my hands. Nice and clean, did not stain my nails. But let's really put this non-transfer claim to the test. So I have a paper towel, let's just Wow, literally nothing. But let's take it one step further and put on a white shirt. Now we're getting real dangerous, but I don't see any transfer. Let's go ahead and give it some shimmies, some celebration shimmies. It's what you do when you dye your hair, right? You do shimmies, good to go. So although my hair looks fire, I do want to show you how easy it is to rinse out. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. But to do so, I'm going to use some more new Curlsmith products. They also released a new shampoo and conditioner specifically for color treated hair. And not necessarily this pretend color that we put in our hair, but for those of us that do already have actual hair dye in our hair. So let me show you how I apply both of these in the shower. So this hair is actually my day three hair. Yes, you can refresh with these colored gels. And as you can see, when I shake it out, I could have lasted even longer because my curls still look super defined, but I had to wash it out for this video. And just to be clear, you don't have to have this shampoo and conditioner to rinse it out. It'll rinse out with any shampoo and conditioner, but I do want to show you the new products for color treated hair. And honestly, just by using water, you will see that just about all of the color rinses out just with water alone. So that's how easy it is to remove this color. It will not stain your hair, even if it's blonde. So here are my little blonde highlights. Still looks good. But to get a really good clean, let's add the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo. 
It smells really good. It's like a sweet candy smell. It's supposed to be delicate, shampoo for all hair types, supposed to add luster, full radiance, and color protection. But whether you rock your natural hair color or you have some hair dye, this formula is supposed to enhance your hair's vibrancy and shine. I usually only apply shampoo to my scalp, but because I am trying to get rid of all the red hair makeup, I'm going to apply it to my lengths just to make sure that I get all the color out. Then once it feels nice and clean, I rinse it out and then I grab the Curlsmith Glow Perfecting Conditioner. This is a rinse out conditioner for all hair types. It's supposed to enhance color, detangle, smooth, add vibrance and shine. And as you can see, it has really good slip. It's honestly been so long since I got my hair dyed with pregnancy and quarantine. So I don't even know if I qualified to be someone with color treated hair, but my ends are popping and as you can see my curls are now back to normal it did not stain my hair even the blonde parts and it was super easy to rinse out but since i already missed this little temporary color let's just end the video with the red so i know you're also excited and curious to give this a try so let me know what color you would want to put on your hair the Curlsmith hair makeup is available on the Curlsmith website as well as Ulta Beauty and these are three fluid ounces and they're sold for $19.99. You probably can get maybe three or four uses out of one bottle depending on how much hair you have, the length of your hair, how thick it is, how vibrant you want it, if you want to just do like highlights, streaks, or full color. It's totally up to you. You could have a lot of fun with these. So I'm really glad I started with the ruby because this was just such a fun, different, bold color. But remember, there's still turquoise, rose gold, gold, and copper. Comment below and let me know what color you want me to try next. All these products are available on the Curlsmith website and they're also at Ulta Beauty. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week, sometimes more than one. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.